Researchers feel so confident about the results from phase one. They are hopeful for similar success in phases two and three. The initial trial included one woman from Florida, and while it was small, doctors say it is showing promise to potentially prevent and even treat the cancer. Breast cancer remains the most common cancer in women, killing more than 40,000 Americans a year. But a vaccine moving through trials is showing promise to reduce risk or even prevent future diagnoses. You know, people have tried to develop cancer vaccines for decades. Dr. Amit Kumar, CEO of Anixa Biosciences, is working with Cleveland Clinic researchers on a breast cancer vaccine. Yeah, but phase one data is incredibly promising. In fact, the data that we have seen is more promising than any vaccine, any cancer vaccine data that has ever been tried before. Phase one tested 35 mainly white women across three categories. First, women who had a triple negative breast cancer and surgery, but remain at high risk for recurrence. We chose those women because we wanted to test safety on actual patients who had already gone through breast cancer. Second, women who hadn't been diagnosed but had preventative mastectomies due to high risk factors like the BRCA gene. We think what we're gonna find is that the vaccine has induced their immune systems to surveil the tissue to look for microtumors that we believe may exist in these women. And finally, women with triple negative breast cancer whose surgeons could not remove all of it. It's, we're actually trying to develop a vaccine that'll kill the cancer cells itself. The results, 75% showed good results, but all had some kind of immune response. How effective is it? And that's going to be determined in phase two. Phase two starting early next year, according to Dr. Kumar, will triple the participant pool and include a more diverse group. And if success continues, the vaccine could change more than just breast cancer outcomes. Do you think that this information you're gaining could lead to vaccines for other types of cancers too? Yeah, yeah. We already have another program with the Cleveland Clinic on ovarian cancer. And then we've just initiated programs in lung, colon, and prostate cancer. So for phase three, Dr. Kumar calls it the holy grail potentially aiming to prove the vaccine can prevent breast cancer in women who have never had it. And if that success continues, he hopes it would be on the market by 2030. I'm Megan McRoberts. Back to you.